Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my corner of Al Gore's internet and to another episode of Journey to Redemption. Tatiana is at school. This is Windenburg High School. This is for the academy, basically a fine arts academy. Um, and she is in here playing... Uh, are messing around on the um, DJ turntable. Um, this is something that has been Tati's passion for a long time, um, music, and she has a, a life aspiration of becoming a music producer. Um, this isn't something that's very realistic in the eyes of her mother, but like her mother can talk, she's an artist, right? But her mother doesn't want her to be a starving artist like she is. So Tati's mom definitely wants her to um, change her goals uh, to, to something that's a little more reliable than music. But Tati's first love, uh, besides Nico, is music. Uh, but she's here at school. She's a little tense. Um, her nerves are frayed, basically because of everything that happened from last week. I'm going to kind of keep pulled back a little bit. Sorry, guys, if I keep moving around because the music gets a little loud. So uh, just to give you a recap of last week, Nico caught uh, Tempest cheating on him with his best friend, Gio. And Nico, the first, um, well, it wasn't the first place he went, but it was certainly on his um, priority list was to run to Tati for not advice, but um, just a, a friend and Tati doesn't really know how to take the news. She's right now in her element and she's trying to decipher through all the information, um, uh, because she realizes now that she has, um, a, well, look, look who's there. Geo. That's awkward. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this gathering because y'all are loud, but, and, it's cute that they're playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. But, um, yeah, so she's got information to decipher through. And it's it's a little hard for her to, to she's trying to separate her love for Nico from her friendship with Nico. Both of those go hand in hand, but her love for Nico is, is basically blocking her from, or keeping her from making a, a wise uh, decision and uh, we just need to find out where Tati's head is is at where she's going to go with um, this new revelation of Nico's well the current status of his relationship which is still kind of up in the air Nico hasn't had the chance to talk to Tempest even though he she did call him last week while she was he was at um, Tati's house he ignored the call um, and he is starting to have some feelings for Tati, but in his case, he also has to figure out what he wants to do. So he's definitely got to speak to Tempest. Um, it's a possibility that they make up. Um, they've never really broken that off before and they've been together, um, most of the school year. And all right, so she's uh, got to use the bathroom. I got to hurry up and rush her and she's hungry. So I'm, it's late. It is kind of late and she's at school. She definitely needs to get home. I'm sure her mother is worried sick. So let's go ahead and get Tati home. Um, it is Friday, Saturday morning now, um, but her mother is still not going to understand that Tati's been out all night. And look, the librarian's still here. I swear the librarian lives here. All right, um, and the soda machines are still broken. That is a typical high school. All right, Tati, you need to go to bed, and we'll see you guys at home. As expected, Tati's mom met her outside. She's not very happy with Tati coming home so late, and she really doesn't have any explanation, just the fact that, oh, text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back, and it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? So Tati is most likely asking about Nico because she, of course, is going to be concerned about her friend. Um, and then those like bubbling feelings that they're both starting to have. Um, she's always had them, but Nico's starting to um, have them. And there's some confusion in between them. Uh, there was some 
like that you know how you get that feeling uh there was some awkwardness and he was trying to test the waters but at the same time trying to deal with his um anger and uh, anxiety about his relationship with Tempest and then feeling guilty at the same time. Um, so she's been trying to text him and he hasn't been responding. So her mother, um, is instead of being angry with Tati decided to hold off on any types of punishment, but to listen to her daughter. So what should we say? Um, no, she's going to tell Tati to wait for Nico to respond because Ta Nico needs time to decipher again, you know, to kind of just, um, deal with his feelings. He's a young man that's been brokenhearted. So wait for them to respond. Okay. Of course there's hammering while I'm recording. Absolutely wonderful. I hope you guys don't hear that. If you do, I apologize. It's out of my control. All right, so she's hungry. We're going to have her come in here. Hopefully there's some leftovers. Grandma's always good for leftovers, and there's no leftovers. All right, Grandma Lily is, uh, what's she got here? Peas? Uh, absolutely not. Uh, no, peas are gross. You can at me in the comments. Peas are disgusting. I cannot stand English peas. Um, I will eat them if they're like in something, but to eat them plainly, I could not see her eating anyone just eating a bowl of peas. I mean, I'm sure there's someone like my mother who would do that, but I digress. All right. So she's got nothing to eat. Uh, so she'll just make a snack or something. Um, have a quick meal, grab a ham and cheese sandwich. Let's check her out. I wanted to check on Tati's, um, oh gosh. Okay, girl. No need to slam the refrigerator. That is an antique refrigerator. I wanted to check her um, character values out. She, her manners are out of this world. She has great manners and her responsibility is amazing. But check out her emotional control. This we need to pay attention to because right now she's at a very, very, very weak moment in her life because her friend is in need and she has feelings for him. Her also her conflict resolution isn't very high. It's she's very argumentative, <laughs> uh, but she has some. She's very she's compassionate. So co a combination of being compassionate but having low emotional control, that is a bomb waiting to go off. So just to give you guys um, just some thoughts, because um, she's not in a good place right now. But she definitely needs to head to bed, and we're going to go ahead and do that, send her to sleep. Um, let's check on mom. Mom is, I think she's doing good. She is. She's doing really good. I guess she must have taken a nap when she got home because um, she's wide awake. And sadly, she has nowhere to go. Um, it's early, too late in the evening, too early in the morning. Um, her new babe is probably still asleep. They're not official, um, but she is interested in pursuing something with Josh. Where is he? Where are we with Josh? Is he? There he is. Okay. They're not boyfriend and girlfriend as of yet, but they are lovers, potential lovers. Why does she hate Scruffy so much? Where is Scruffy? A oh, Ruffy. Okay. So, um, yeah, anyways, so she's up. Why don't we just have her do some laundry? I don't know, just to kind of kill some time and clean up around the house. Am I the only one? I have a quick question. I don't remember if I've asked this question before, but when I logged onto, um, onto this household or into this household, the house was a mess. Like everything was dirty. Things were broken. Am I the only one that starts off an LP after they've cleaned up everything? Because I am just that type of person. Like I hate to I hate my house being like a wreck um I have anxiety about it um and I'm dealing with that but I, I feel the same way about my sims house I get anxious that it's everything is broken everything's dirty now I will like let the dishes go for a little bit but like I get anxious about it um and it, it can be bad sometimes but it it, it has flowed over into my sims gameplay where i will not start my my lp until everything is is cleaned um ew, great we're gonna have laundry on the uh, line for days that is wet 
I wonder if I could just set it down and put it in the dryer. I don't know. Will that work? We'll see. All right. So it's nighttime. We're going to let people go to bed. I love the fall. Look at it. Oh, I can't wait till it's officially fall here. I love the fall and it's so pretty in Willowbrook. It's just as gorgeous in Brindleton Bay. Okay. All right. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to put everybody to sleep and then we will see you guys in the morning. All right, we're back and we're actually at the Champion House um, checking in on Nico. It is Saturday morning. Um, he seems to be doing okay right now. Um, I think he's really happy that it's fall, which is a definite change for him. He is, uh, his favorite season is fall as well. Um, but let's see, his mother's very tense. What's going on? She's feel, still feeling really insecure. Uh, she's not very sure about how Mason is feeling about the baby. Um, but Mason seems to be doing fine. So this is really all in Melisande's head. Um, yeah. So where's the baby? Okay. He's check. He's going in here and checking on the baby. All right. We still haven't decided on a name for Tanya Champion. I'm really not too keen on the name. Um, oh, she was upset. Did you guys see that? She was upset that he came to check in on the baby. She's a little possessive about Tanya, but yeah, I really want to rename her. Um, so if you guys have a name for, you know, me or any name suggestions, let me know in the comments what you think her name should be. Um, Melisande is a very, mm, it's a French name and Mason and Nico are very, not exotic names, but they're, they're not common. Well, Mason might be a little common, Nico, not so much. So Tanya, I feel like Melisande would go with something that's maybe French, Maybe not, but not something that is your normal everyday name. So if you guys could come up with something that's a little classy, a little um, upper echelon type name, that would be great because I could see her being fairly bougie about um, any name choices she might have. Well, Nico just going right in with his homework. We're going to go ahead and let him finish his homework. Um, we're going to check on the baby. Okay, Mason, you just walked away and let the, the baby. Okay. Amelia's going to come in here and change the baby's diaper, feed her. Um, we'll go ahead and let her do the norm, the the natural thing and have her breastfeed. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, she is a natural mom. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what that was about. The baby didn't like it and she didn't like it. Um, talk to her. How's their relationship? Pretty well. Not too bad. She's still a really great relationship with Mason. And Mason, for all intents and purposes, still loves Melisande. No animosity. So, again, all in her head. Not sure what's going on. But the tension is not going to let up. Not for a while, looks like. But um, I want to actually focus on... Nico, but let's have them interact. Mason, why don't you come over here? Oh, I guess she's helping me, um, Nico with his homework. Why don't you come over here and brighten her day? He realizes that Melisande is off a little, and he just wants to reassure her that, you know, there's no no love lost between them. He loves her, and he no, he wasn't, like, he didn't want to be a father again. Um... And, but I think he feels necessary to tell her why he doesn't want to be, didn't want to be a father. Look, I know that, you know, you're feeling really, like, insecure about this whole thing with the baby. And I know that I have been adamant in the past that we not have this baby. But I, I want to be honest with you why uh, my father was hard on me and he wasn't there for me, and I haven't been exactly the greatest father to Nico. I just didn't want that to, I didn't want to do that again. I didn't want to mess up again. Mason, you're a wonderful father. We know that you're gone a lot, but your provider, oh, 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 okay. I I just want to tell you that I love you. Okay. Uh, no, Mason, come back down here. No more yoga. Um, give her a kiss. Um, 
yeah, kiss her. You're a wonderful father, Mason, just like she said. And she just wants you to know that you're a great provider. And she realizes that that sometimes takes you away from the family. But you make those sacrifices for them. Okay, heat it up, y'all. They have a second chance to do it right. And Nico's actually doing really well. They didn't do too bad by him. Uh, they were, parents aren't perfect, but they were the best parents that they could be. And, you know, not for nothing, Nico's a good kid. He really is. Why is he in their room? What's he doing? What is he doing? All right, so it's Saturday morning. Everybody's awake. It's, you know, 10, almost 11. So I'm going to have him give Tempest a call. Mmm. Wow. Okay, so he hates her. I didn't do this. I, I swear I did not do this, guys. Um, I was um, thinking they were still in love. Okay, um, that's not good. Okay, so uh, look, even though he hates her right now, he still has a right to know why she cheated. So um, he's given her a call. He wants to meet her. Look, I know we're not really talking right now, but I really need to talk to you. I need to at least get some closure. So if you'd be willing to meet me, um, I'd like to at least chat over a cup of coffee or something um, somewhere neutral. Uh, I think she's in agreement. So they're going to go ahead and meet uh, so they can talk and at least make a clean break. Um, if not, try to repair what they had. But who's to say what's going on with Tempest? So we'll go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back. We're at ground zero. This is the the brick and bean. And this is actually where Nico caught uh, Tempest and Zio uh, hugged up. Now, he is supposed to be on his way to meet her. There he is over there in the corner. Um, and I just went ahead and switched over to Tempest. I wanted to check the relationship status to see if it was mutual and yes there's a mutual hate um they are still together she is they're still dating and they just right now the relationship is complicated so there is still some love there even though the bar is red but she is very much in love with geo and they are soulmates according to um this now Tempest has a, where is she at? Uh, let me pause it really quick um, to kind of calm down the noise. Tempest has the trait for um, serial romantic. Um, so she's not going to be, um, <laughs> she's not going to be loyal to anybody. You know, these girls ain't loyal. So she's not going to be loyal to Gio, but he doesn't know that. Gio is as far as I know, in love with Tempest. We don't really know a lot about Gio. We just know that he's supposedly really good friends with Nico. But that probably won't be for long. She is going to go downstairs and greet Nico. However, um, he seems to be in a fairly decent mood. Um, so I don't want... Let's just come over here and talk to him. Greet him friendly like... Um, let's ask him about his day. I know that's kind of a cheesy way to begin a conversation, but it's awkward and she just wants to make sure that they're not going to have it out right here in the brick and bean as much of a player as she is. She probably deserves to be told off. Nico, he's got your haircut, um, but she still wants to have some modicum of privacy. Where'd she at? Here she comes. Okay. Okay, there's just way too many people. Oh, she gave him a kiss. Way too many people. All right, let's come up here. Um, actually, let me have her form a group because... Uh, where is it at? Uh, actions, form a group with Nico. And let's have them go upstairs. Uh, I know there was a place to sit somewhere up here. Did I go too far up? Yeah. Okay, let's come over here and sit together. 
um, and we can chat up here. That way um, they can get some privacy because uh, I've said this before. I like the celebrity idea. I just can't stand the fact that the whole dog on place goes wild and they can't talk. Let's talk about the cloudy weather. Let's make the conversation light. Um, and he, he seems to be okay. Okay. She's going to, um, they're going to have a deep conversation. Uh, no, come back up here and have a deep conversation with your boy. I don't need you talking to other people. You don't need anything else. Her bladder's really low, but that's okay. Um, come back up here. All right. Nico, I'm really glad you just you decided to meet me. I'm you know, or you called me. I am I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I I would like to know first of all why why Gio, why my best friend? Why couldn't you just come and tell me that you wanted wanted to break it off with me before you cheated? Nico, look, I appreciate you giving me all the time in the world, and most women would be greatly appreciated. And I do. I, 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 I appreciate you. I love you. I mean, I'm a lucky girl, but I need more. I need you to show me in other ways how much you care for me. And Gia has given that to me. What do you mean you need more? I've given you everything. Yeah, but I like to be showered with gifts. Um, okay, he's walking away. That didn't go very well, Tempest. It really didn't. Um, he is highly upset. Looks like he went and text Tati. Um, maybe she can come here and just, um, oh, there's one of her friends. Oh, he came to smooth things over. This is, um, oh, what's his name? This is Talon. This is actually one of her good friends. Um, I guess he just walked past like, yep, I'm not in this. All right, so I'm going to have her go, the, go to the restroom. I'm not going to cheat her um, needs up anymore. So I'm going to have her use the restroom. I don't remember which bathroom it is. Okay, it's this one. Uh, toilets. Toilets right here. Okay. So we found out what Tempest's MO was. Nico wasn't spending enough money on her. Um, she is a bit of a gold digger. She's very materialistic and she's a serial lover. And that's just part of her personality. She's going to go with, uh, with the next highest bidder. Uh, and that is a trait that runs in her family. Her mom is kind of that way. She, she um, has since grown out of that. Her mother's still a little materialistic. But she puts family first. She loves her husband. And her first, uh, she ended up marrying uh, Tempest's father. Um, and he was broke. So it is, it, it isn't the end of the world for Tempest. She has plenty of time to grow up. She's still very young. Um, Talon came over here to greet uh, Nico just to see what was going on. Nico was like, I really don't want to talk about it right now, dude. So he walked away, and so she's going to come over here and talk to Talon. Um, and he's going to find out what's going on. They look like brother and sister, don't they? I saw you talking to my boy. I mean, Talon's on the basketball team with Nico, so he knows Nico. Um, he's like, what happened? I heard you guys um, had broke it off. Hey, this is between me and Tempest. But if you want to know, I'm going to tell you. Okay, that was just absolutely rude, Nico. Nico's just being a jerk now. Um, let's just tell him to leave because I know she's the guilty party, but um, she didn't deserve the, the joke, whatever that was. Um, she can't tell him to go away. Okay. All right, so why don't you go ahead and talk to... You can tell, tell him to go away, but you can't tell Nico to go away? What is that? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can. All right, so why don't you go ahead and tell Nico to leave. Um, he even this. Oh, I guess you guys are whispering about the celebrity. This is why I don't like celebrities, guys. Anyways, not 
you know, in general, just in the game. I don't mind them, like I said, but yeah, they get a little ridiculous. The stink eye over here. Look at that. Did you guys see that? Look at that face. Okay. Um, he's, he's, he's got to go. All right. So we went ahead and we accomplished what we needed to with Tempest. Um, she went ahead and tried to explain to him that it really wasn't personal. It was more about the bank account and, you know, the gifts than anything. Um, and Nico just wasn't following through. He loved her, but he wasn't showering with the gifts that she felt like she deserved. And, you know, she's going to have to learn that it's not about that. Um, she's spoiled. She is the only child. But, you know, her father taught her better, but her, maybe her mother didn't. Maybe um, her mother just failed to mention that love goes beyond the dollar sign. So Nico had invited Tati to the bluffs to meet him and she didn't show up. So instead he came here. Oh, manners, dude. Why don't you greet? Uh, oh, he hasn't even introduced himself. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to Grandma Lily and... Um, Oh, let's not ask her about that. Let's give her, let's ask her about her day. You are at her house, buddy. Okay. So Tati's introducing her grandma to Nico. And uh, and Grandma Lily was a little, is a little bit concerned. She has been watching her, her granddaughter mope around the house. Not mope necessarily, but Tati has been in a little bit of a funk. And she's been concerned about this young man that's been coming by um, a little more often than she's quite used to because Tati hasn't had anyone come over her house really except for her girlfriends and even they don't visit as much. Tati hasn't really hung out with them lately. Uh, she's starting to do that thing again. So Nico came over here. Um, let's not provoke her. He's in a bad way. She did not show up and he just wants to know why she didn't come. She's been trying to avoid him because she hasn't, she, she's not really sure what she should do here. Um, Nico, I just had some thinking to do. Oh my goodness. What is Talon doing? Oh boy. Here we go. The drama ensues. Um, Nico's like, crap, there's Talon. He's pouting. He's like, I wanted you to come and see me, but you stood me up and I don't appreciate it. She didn't like that. Um, but he's going to continue on with the, the, uh, conversation. It's late. I don't think she's going to answer the door. You can knock all you want, but I don't know. Oh, she's letting him in. All right. So where'd she go? She went upstairs. Did she go upstairs? No, nope, she's downstairs. Um, Oh, they went upstairs like geniuses. Okay. Um, hmm, this ought to be interesting. Okay. Uh, the stairs disappeared. Don't know what that's about, but uh, I'll fix that later. Let's pretend like those stairs are still there, shall we? Let's talk. Um, he's taking an angry poop. Are you taking an angry poop? Oh boy, you are really comfortable, aren't you? Um, let's let's come in here and finish up. Did you flush the toilet? You didn't. Go back in there and flush the toilet and wash your hands. How about that? Do that. Those stairs are gonna bother me. I'll be right back. Never mind. I can't do it because this isn't my house at the moment. All right. So he went in there, flushed the toilet, and washed his hands. Um, so he wants to rant and rave, but Tati is not, she's not in the mood. She's like, I'm above this. Turn this off. Okay. So why don't you come in here and try to be nice. Um, banter with her. She is your best friend after all. And she's staying up late just to accommodate you. The least you can do is be kind. Um, ask about her day. I know you're in a bad way, Nico. She understands that, but this isn't her fault. And I know um, you need someone to um, let. Let's see. Banter some more. 
maybe he could try to flirt with her. Um, not sarcastic compliment. I don't think she's going to take that very well, but we could try it. It's like, I, I, I'm thankful that you gave me a chance to just come over here and talk. I really needed someone to talk to. Um, by the way, that dress is awfully short and kind of hot on you. I don't know if that's really sarcastic or not, but whatever. She likes it. Oh, that was terrible. I'm so bad at that, you guys. I'm so terrible at that. Okay, she needs some privacy. Um, I'm just uh, just wondering how the heck they're walking up and down these steps. <laughs> they're not here. Um, why don't you call her down? Um... Can he give her a romantic? I don't want to give her. Oh, yeah. Let's give her a picture of uh, Tempest and him. Ah, let's give her the rose. Yeah. Maybe this will be just his way. Of, oh, this is real romantic. Let's let's do this in the bathroom, shall we? Um, let's give her the rose. This will be his way of thanking her for being there for him all this time. Um I mean, Tati has certainly invested a lot of time in Nico. She's thankful for it. Um, brighten her day. Oh, he is very flirty. Okay. He's going to flirt again. She liked that rose. He liked the reaction she got. he got from... Is that what I want to say? Rewind. He liked her reaction. Oh, Grandma Lily came in here like, honey, it's late. Uh, it's time for you to dismiss your friend. Grandma Lily, go to bed. <laughs> We're doing something here. Okay. Um, Nico, let's form a group with Tati. And because we, we really need Grandma Lily to. Go mind your business. <laughs> mind your business, Grandma Lily. Mind your business. All right, come in here. Um, actually, let's let's go down here. Go down here together. Uh huh. Okay. <sighs> look at the look on her face. She's like, oh boy, that was a little embarrassing. Or she's like, I don't know what he's up to. Um, let's flirt. <laughs> Grandma Lily is not that far behind. Look, she is really adamant on checking on them. She's like, I'm just going to sit here. Oh, come on. Okay, let's go outside. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. All the stairs are, are gone. <laughs> go here. Go here. Can we go here together? Is it too late? Oh, are we not? Is it too late? Can we still? Can we still? Um, let's see. Form group with Tati. Okay. Um, go here together. Okay, she's going to bed. Awesome. All right, so he he wants to, he knows it's late, and he's like, look, I realize it's late, but I just, I, I just want to, I want to try something, if you, if you are willing, um, I can't do it, offer Rose, um, Okay. Compliment appearance. Okay. I can't kiss her? Okay, can't kiss her. Um, okay, off a rose again. No, that's not what I wanted to do, actually. I wanted to... Okay, you know what, Nico... 
If you can't kiss her, kiss her hand. Be a gentleman. All right, be a gentleman and kiss her hand. Tati is, look at her, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was romantic. Okay, it's time to go, buddy boy. Go on home, uh, playboy, Romeo. Um, he he uh, He's ecstatic, look at this. Titillating banter. Oh, romantic generosity. Okay, he needs some amusement. What is this? Other things. What is this? Other things on their mind. Nico just can't loosen up. Okay, so even though he's in a flirtatious mood and he is really feeling our girl, he is still um, obviously going to have his, well, he's still got a girlfriend. I mean, he is still in a relationship with um, Tempest, officially, technically. Where is she? Right here. Yeah. Tempest is still his girlfriend, so that is probably why he cannot, um, it's probably why he cannot kiss Tati. And I think that I have to applaud Nico for that. Even though he is very, very flirtatious and he did kiss her hand, he only kissed her hand. And so he, um, knows that he needs to go ahead and end things with Tempest, which, um, you know, Nico, I think we need to make that a priority. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end it right there. This has been long enough. Um, I do hope that you enjoyed this episode of Journey to Redemption. Uh, tell me what you think about the interactions between Tati and Nico. I'd really like to hear about that. And Tempest. Do you think that Nico should try to fix things up with Tempest? Maybe she's right. Maybe, you know, um, just the time isn't enough. Nico, knowing that she's the type of girl that she is, being materialistic, maybe he should have been more attentive to her needs in that regard. Or maybe, uh, you know, she isn't the one for Nico and maybe he needs to sort out his feelings first and sort out this, um, this relationship with Tempest before he even tries to pursue Tatiana. I think Tatiana uh, made a wise decision by taking her little tail upstairs. Anyways, if you're not a member of the family and you would like to attend our family reunion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload. I do upload at least three times a week. And uh, that's all for me today, guys. Until next time, ciao.